If you're looking to make yourself a solid fuel forge, which requires an air blast, or a forced air gas forge, which requires an air blast, I'm going to suggest to you three different options to get yourself going. One, the simplest and easiest thing to go buy to actually or to go find to power those type of forges is going to be a common hair dryer. That's right. Get a honking Conair, Revlon, whatever you want. They're like 10 or 15 bucks, and they are an excellent source of air. Make sure and get one that you can cut the heating coils off while you're working your forge. You don't want that heating element on. Outside of that, phew, it works great. When I teach my in-person classes, I usually go to Amazon and buy $10 cheap Con Air. The last ones I bought were pink. Did a great job. Okay, They're not going to last for an entire year because you're putting them through extra duty, and they're really not meant to do that. But if you're looking for a quick, cheap fix, that's where you want to be. Now, if you do a little bit more digging and you've got neighbors, especially after a holiday, there's a kind of a craze with these inflatable lawn decorations. Well, the little blower that inflates Frosty the Snowman and Santa Claus is a fantastic blower for doing blacksmithing and knife making work. It is a, an impeller style. I think that's right. An impeller style blower. It's a centrifugal blower, meaning that basically it's throwing the air out and it creates a lot of pressure, which is exactly what you want. We use a monster sized version of one of these on our giant industrial forge, which has four 12 inch burners. And even that the half horsepower blower that we have, we have to actually choke it off because it puts out too much air. However, the gold standard the absolute gold standard for what you want to do is to go to a place called Granger Online. Granger is an industrial supply house, and they have a very particular model of a furnace blower that does the job bar none. So that particular blower I have used on forges for the past 20 years. I have yet to outlive one. Usually runs about 60 or 70 bucks, but it is a super quality item and it can be used on several different forges. There's several different configurations that you can have. If you're looking for a proper blower, this is the one that you want. So guys, and I, again, if you're upgrading, you're making a better forge, Forced air is always the way to go if you're working with gas because it's far more controllable than the atmospheric burners. And if you're doing a solid fuel forge, you really got to have that pressure, and this guy will fit both of those bills. Ta-da!